Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about vitamin D test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. So first of all, let us know what is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a nutrient that is essential for healthy bones and teeth. There are two forms of vitamin D that are important for nutrition. That is vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 mainly comes from foods such as cereals, milk and other dairy products. Vitamin D3 is made by our own body when exposed to the sunlight. Sometimes it is also found in some food items such as eggs and fatty fish. In our bloodstream, vitamin D2 and D3 are changed into a form of vitamin D known as 25-hydroxy vitamin D. So a vitamin D test checks the level of 25-OHD in our blood. Abnormal levels of vitamin D indicate bone disorders, organ damage, and other health conditions. Now let us see what is this test used for. This test is used to monitor bone diseases. It is also used to check the levels of vitamin D in people with chronic illness such as asthma, psoriasis, or other autoimmune diseases. Now let us see why you may need this test. Your doctor may order a vitamin D test if you have any signs or symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. These symptoms may include bone malformation, bone weakness, bone softness, and bone fractures. This test can also be ordered if you are at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency. These risk factors include being obese, having a dark complexion, having not enough exposure to sunlight, difficulty in absorbing fat in your diet, having osteoporosis, or if you have had gastric bypass surgery. Also, breastfed babies are at risk of vitamin D deficiency if they do not take supplements. Now let us see how is this test done. For this test, a small sample of blood is taken from the vein of your arm, which is then sent to the lab. It may take two to three days to get the results, depending on the lab. So, do you need any kind of preparations for this test? As this test is very simple, no preparations are needed. So, are there any risks to the test? There are almost no risks to the test but make sure the needle is sterilized and the area is well cleaned. Now let us see what do the results mean. If your results show a deficiency of vitamin D, it may mean that you are not having enough exposure of sunlight or you are not taking enough vitamin D from the food. Also, it may mean that your body is having trouble in absorbing vitamin D from the food. A low result may also mean that the body is unable to use vitamin D which may indicate a kidney or a liver problem. Vitamin D deficiency can be treated by taking supplements or having dietary changes. If your test results show high levels of vitamin D, it may mean that you are taking too many supplements of vitamin D. If it is so, you need to stop taking them or change the doses, as high levels of vitamin D can damage the organs and the blood vessels. Also, if you are taking any supplements, do not stop them at once. Talk to your doctor before stopping them. A quick reminder, it is highly advisable to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to your reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.